Hey guys, okay, I'm making this video because I'm about to have my breakfast and I was able to get the doctors because my snoring loud roommate finally left yesterday so I was able to get the nurses to change my bed over to this side of the room where I have a kick-ass view of outside. Very relaxing, it looks really peaceful at night. It was really peaceful last night. Just looking out at the water with the street lights all lit up. Okay, so anyway, just finish uh, making my coffee. I'm almost done. You know, I hate every time I get breakfast because it's like the nurses have a fucking radar where they suddenly come in, want to check your vitals and everything. My coffee freaking got cold, I mean, which I'm still drinking. It. But I was able to get apple juice, got a vanilla yogurt, got cereal, raisin bran, got a fruit, fruit mix bag, got ginger ale, um, got a raisin cinnamon danish, had um, cinnamon oatmeal, I ate that. So some of this stuff I'm going to bring to my brother-in-law tomorrow because finally I'll be able to go home. Well, not home, back to Tampa, but I'll be, be able to leave the hospital tomorrow. I'm going to leave about 2. Um, just finished talking to my girlfriend while I was on the phone with her. Um, you know, not fully girlfriend. We're going, like, uh, on a mini hiatus. You know, we're just taking a short break, I would like to call it. Because, uh, you know, her trying to just uh, get her life straightened out. And I'm still going to be here supportive. Just being patient. Letting her do her things she got to do. But I am still grateful to her and appreciative because we still keep track of each other. You know, she has still been here for me. She's the main one that's been here for me through my whole surgery ordeal. I've been getting flowers, <laughs> constantly asking, bugging the nurses for flowers because they bring like a little flower every time for like your meals and stuff. So my girlfriend wanted me to get flowers to save them as like she wants them. Not sure when she'll be coming back home yet. Um, might not be for a while, so was, at the time I was kind of wondering, like, why she wanted to save these flowers. She has to dry them out and, as, like, a keepsake. She said she wanted to keep them as, uh, like a memory type of thing. And I didn't really understand that at first, but it made sense, you know. She, um, she's been there for me for my surgery. This is literally the fourth surgery she's been there for me with, helped me get through it. Um, she's been the only one, mainly... The main one that has helped me through these surgeries, helped me get through them and, you know, had me in a better place, you know, where I've been, like, miserable and, you know, just felt like I couldn't handle it. Um, you know, her support and everything, her constant calls and keeping up with me and keeping track with me, you know, always made me feel better. And, um, so, yeah, I mean, I thought that was really endearing and really sweet that she wanted to do something, like, so sentimental as to save flowers to, you know hold on to these moments as like a special memory for her because it is an equal special memory for me as well you know having her there for me you know it, it means more to me than she'll ever know and uh, like I said because she's still my baby she always will be I'm always gonna love her to death you know I did that pretty video, funny video about me coming out of <laughs> Uh, um, pre-op and some of that shit was funny because I kept asking about Popeyes and her lasagna and shit but the funny thing about that is that I meant everything I said about her, you know, about loving her and, you know, giving her her space and the time she needs her alone time and, you know, being supportive of that, giving her her downtime and, you know, letting her do what she got to do and stuff. You know, I meant all of that and still being here waiting for her because, you know, she does mean the world to me. I love her to death. I do want to eventually marry her one day. Um, and, uh, yeah, because, I mean, when you have that connection with somebody, it's like, you know, it doesn't have to be, it's not always about sex, you know, intimacy. I mean, that, that, that's a small part, but at the end of the day, it's about that connection with that person. And I felt like, honestly, from the day I met her, like, we had this amazing, special connection that I can't even explain or describe. It's like things that we connected on, levels that we connected on, is like things that literally I think there has been other people that are like, you know, look at us like we're fucking stupid or like we're from another planet and shit. I mean, even my own best friend is like, they talk to us and it's like, they don't even know where the fuck we're coming from. It's like we're totally in a whole different planet. It's like we go cuckoo with things and things that make sense to us and it ends up being funny. It's just like to them, it's like, 
you sh y'all should be in a fucking mental hospital or whatever. Like, where do you come with this sick shit or this crazy shit from? It's like you you're both like <laughs> you're both very weird people. You know, like where do you think of this shit? But I like the fact that, you know, it's like, we're, we get like that. And then they're like, you know, so many ways that I could just calm her down. She does the same effect on me of, like, we're both aggravated about something. We could talk for a little while. We have the tendency of, like, calming each other down. And then we start laughing and joking around about stuff. And like I said, a lot of things we joke around about, even if it's spiritual-wise or, like, conversations we have is spiritual-wise or whatever the situation. Um... It makes sense to us. It doesn't make sense to nobody else, but it doesn't have to, you know, because at the end of the day, it's just that some stuff that goes on between me and her, and that's, that's what makes it special. It's like we both can understand each other a certain, like, you know, stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, anyway, so um, they, the doctors came and stuff. They said my MRI, basically, there was no nerve damage, but I have to keep the, the brace on bent for the next four weeks because um, if I don't, the Achilles tendon... It's going to end up shrinking up and my legs going to basically stay pointing down. They don't want that to happen. So what's going to happen is um, I'll be able to get my stitches out in two weeks. Um, I keep saying stitches. My staples, I'll be able to have my staples out in about two weeks. And then I have to, I can't bend my knee for four weeks. I'm gonna have to, I'll be back home in Florida when I get my physical therapy done. So other than that, my boot, my new boot for my foot will be here today. Which is why I will be able to leave the hospital tomorrow so that's about it everything's looking good and um yeah i've just been like i said i've just been so bl blessed and fortunate that my girlfriend has been here for me through this whole ordeal you know i spoke to my mom once i spoke to my niece once since i've been in the hospital but um yeah my girlfriend's been like clockwork like she always has been you know she's never disappointed me there's all these years she has never been a disappointment you know why she's been no matter what she's going through and stuff i just give her so much credit and i have so much love for her for that because no matter what is going on with her part of her life she's just been extremely supportive of me and that's where i know where her love comes through at that's kind of like how she shows her love towards me you know she may not say it that easily like that but that's where it shines through you know just that support that I get from her, that support system I have from her, and that's truly amazing, so, yeah, so, thanks for that, baby, I'm gonna say that, you know, thank you so much for that, and I love you to death because of that, and I always will, and like, that's why I said, I will wait for you forever, so you get things sorted out that you gotta get sorted out, so, I'm not going anywhere, alright, so, that's it for now, you guys, um, I'll probably leave a video later, um, or show you my new brace if I'm not bored or whatever. So, but yeah, that's about it for now. And I got another doctor coming in, so I gotta leave you guys here. So, latest people.